Now, binary coded decimal, you have to remember that binary coded decimal is not a number system. It is just a code. It's just a useful code. It's the easiest conversion that you will come across. So binary coded decimal, all it says is um, group, take each of these digits, an eight, a seven, and a four. So let's say that's in the base 10 system. That's just regular, our regular numbers in the decimal system. And it just says, hey, break, break up um, the, uh, the digits, space them out, and then uh, figure out what each of those is in binary. And, um, and, and, and that's your binary coded decimal. Now, if you calculated what this binary number is, oops, if that's a four, uh, if you calculated what this binary number is, so this binary number, if it's binary, it does not equal 874 if it was if it were binary. But this is not binary. Well, each of these are are binary, right? Each of these groups are binary, but if I now rewrite that as a big number, this is not a binary number. It is a binary coded decimal code. So you have to know what you're working in and you have to know that that is a code. So what I like to do is put a little subscript binary coded decimal. That's not official. You're not supposed to do that, uh, but I like putting it there. So let's do another example. Convert 943 in the base 10 system, the decimal system to binary coded decimal. So the solution then is that I'm gonna space these apart and I'm going to calculate, well, what is nine in binary? What is four in binary? What is three in binary? And I'm going to say, so that equals in binary coded decimal. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you have to go binary coded decimal, um, back to uh, decimal, pretty easy as well. So I'm gonna put the solution right on here without rewriting the question because I'm just trying to make it take less time. And so I'm going to group these and I'm gonna say, well, this is a nine, this is a three, this is an eight, and this is a six. So therefore the answer is um, 6,839 in the decimal system. And so if we were to just summarize here, I can say um, 137 in a decimal system is equal to um, this. In the binary system, which is, but it is also equal to in binary coded decimal. And you can see that that binary and that binary coded decimal are very different from each other. So this is decimal, this is binary coded decimal code. This is decimal number. And this is a binary number. Uh, what's the advantage? The advantage is that it's easy to compute. So this is um, hard to come up with. 
and it takes time. And this is easy. So that's the advantage of binary code adjustment, and that is why it is used in some systems.